Good morning and welcome. Welcome this morning to Peace Through the Word, daily devotional ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, Benson, Arizona, in the United States of America, uh, and LCMS Lutheran Church, Missouri Senate Congregation, and I'm Pastor Ron York <clears throat> of that congregation. And so good to be able to welcome you worldwide uh, this morning, this Tuesday morning, uh, uh, November the 29th, 2022. So my brothers and sisters, uh, this morning we're going to be looking at the subject in the days of Noah. And as I've stated, we're, we're in the year, uh, the church year of Advent, where we, we look to the second coming of Jesus Christ. We look back at his first coming when he first came in Bethlehem, but now we look forward to his second coming. And I've said this so many times, it's going to be and drastically different than his first coming. Uh, drastically, dramatically different. Um, it's it's going to put 9-11 uh, as a walk in a park. Because every every person in the world is going to see this. And it's going to be, uh, for us who are trusting in Jesus, a very blessed day. For the majority of them that aren't, it's going to be the worst day of their lives. So we need to be looking at this, and Jesus compares it as it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man. So I pray that this is going to bless us this morning uh, and give us genuine real peace as well as we come together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I want to share with you a psalm again, and this is Psalm 25. And uh, it talks about our relationship with our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that this is true with you and me this morning. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exalt over me. Indeed, none who wait for you shall be put to shame. They shall be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. I hope that's true for us. Remember your mercy, O Lord, in your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth. Oh, please do not. Don't remember those, Jesus, even the ones I just committed. Or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast, love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your namesake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. We need to, we need to humbly confess that. Who is the man who fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. His soul shall abide in well-being, and in his offspring shall inherit the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord. And you know, I really hope that is the case with us, because here in the United States, the majority of the people's eyes are not on the Lord. They're on the things of the world, materialism, uh, and you know, secularism, and everything else except the Lord. So my eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Bring me out of my distresses. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes and with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May, <clears throat> may integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. 
Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Now let me pray this psalm through Dr. Martin Luther. O Lord, our most merciful Father in heaven, be gracious to us and forgive us our sins. Rule in our hearts by your spirit that we may hate and forsake all manner of evil. Restrain our enemies who would deprive us of our salvation and be to us in your whole church on earth a very present help in time of need. Amen. Wow. Outstanding, amen. So I pray that will bless you as well as we prepare to uh, begin our devotional time this morning. And I'm going to share with you um, <clears throat> responsive prayer one. <laughs> as soon as I find it. So, holy God, holy and most gracious Father, have mercy and hear us. And brothers and sisters, taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer, and so together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And brothers and sisters, this morning, as we always do, we want to profess the Christian faith, and we use the words of the Apostles' Creed. So together we profess. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And so, my brothers and sisters, the passage of Scripture that our devotion is going to use this morning, as, is, as it was in the days of Noah, is First Peter chapter 3, verse 20. We have this account. God's patience waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, 120 years, in which a few, that is eight persons, were brought safely through water. That preservation of those eight people in the ark during the great flight is a personification of holy baptism. Uh, holy baptism brings us safely through water gives us forgiveness of sins and being born again. It's huge. So let me share with you how our devotional unpacks this incredible truth for us this morning. In our reading today, Peter refers to Noah. God was patient during the years it took to build the ark. As I mentioned, 120 years. It never rained either. So it was really foreign and Noah put up with a lot of ridicule. What are you doing building a boat for what in the middle of the desert? Because it's going to rain. What's that? <laughs> so Noah was a herald of righteousness. He preached the only kind of righteousness there is. The righteousness that comes by grace through faith. Noah proclaimed salvation in the name of the Christ who was to come. People scoffed at Noah. They ridiculed him. Just as they scoffed at Jesus on the cross, very much so. Just as people today scoff at pastors, preachers, and they do. I've been, I've been the blunt of it, and, and even most recently. The religion of the world has remained the same since the days of Noah. It most certainly has. The world claims to not need God. And the people here in the United States are very proliferate in that uh, communication. 
Rather, it turns away from the grace and mercy of God to follow its own understanding. Peter proclaims baptism now saves you. He says that direct, that, those, those exact words. Baptism now saves you. Yet we've got Christian denominations that say just the opposite. No, it doesn't. So some, <laughs> somebody's wrong here. And they say, well, Peter didn't really mean that. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I'm so tired of hearing that. So through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, but the world would rather hear, by my good works, my good intentions, my decisions, my acceptance of Christ and all this other nonsense, that they would rather hear that and that, that God will accept me. It wasn't true in Noah's day, and it is no more true today either. It's a fallacy. Our Lord teaches, you will be hated by all for my namesake, and we are. People don't like to hear that, and they get offended. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. We don't seek the world's favor. Instead, we trust in Christ alone for salvation. He is our Savior and Lord. We worship in truth. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Amen. So let me please pray. Dear Lord, please keep us faithful to your word. O oh Lord, that when the waters rise, we will be safe with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks be to God, brothers and sisters. We continue to pray. I cry to you, O Lord, in the morning our prayers come before you. Restore to us the joy of your salvation and uphold us with a willing spirit. Our mouths are filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. Every day we will bless you and we will praise your name forever and ever. By awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems our lives from the pit, and he crowns us with steadfast love and mercy. Hear our prayer, O Lord, let our cries come to you. We continue to pray. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept us this night from all harm and danger. And we pray that you would keep us this day also from sin and every evil, that all of our doings in life may please you. For into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies and souls and all things. Let your holy angels be with us, that the evil foe may have no power over us. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, thank you again so very, very much for chiming in this morning worldwide, no matter where you may be, to peace through the word. We thank you. We appreciate it so very, very much. It's a beautiful day here in southern Arizona, and I pray that you would go out and enjoy the blessings of the Lord today. And so the flaps and landing gear have been retracted, and I convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies. <laughs>